Hey, what's up? Uh, the report cards are out. At least yeah. our report cards. Sure. It is midseason. Hogs one and five. The Hogs six games in. Alyssa Orange is here. Alyssa, let's start with the quarterbacks because it's a, a good starting place. And of course, yeah. when you look at it, you've had multiple guys playing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, right off the bat, Drew, I give the quarterbacks a C. I think it took a little too long for this quarterback battle to play itself out. I would have liked to see a guy kind of step up a little bit sooner. I think this team would have been better earlier if someone stepped up sooner. I like what Ty Story is doing right now. I like his toughness and his grit. Got a little jabby yesterday with the, Arca uh, the Alabama defense a little <laughs> bit, so holding his own out there. And he's got some things, though, he needs to work on, including the deep ball. We've heard about his arm strength. Yeah. We know it's not what Cole Kelly's is, but we're not seeing a lot of that deep threat coming from Ty Story right now. As for Kelly, you know what? If this steamboat package is working, Drew, I say keep it. But I don't know if I'm necessarily a big fan of having Ty Story drive drive down the field and then you give it to Cole Kelly to finish it off. I kind of think that's a little bit of the thunder, but again, this is an ultimate team game. And so whatever is best for the team, it works. But again, as I mentioned, I give the QBs a C. Okay, uh, not much disparity here. I'm going to go C minus on the QBs. You know, and by the way, that Cole Kelly played the steamboat. Uh, you know, that might be a little bit too predictable down right. the road when you look at it. I've kind of been of the thought that maybe you bring in a running back, a power running back like Malik Williams, maybe in a couple of those situations, at least mix it up a little bit more. But Cole mm -hmm. Kelly, some good things yesterday. Yep. Had a touchdown throwing it, mm -hmm. had a touchdown running it. But Cole, you know, he's all for drama, you know, in theatrics. <laughs> yeah. So some of those things have kind of bothered me at certain times. But Cole has started to grow some confidence here in the past couple of weeks in this refined role. Mm -hmm. Ty Story, good point there. The deep shots down the field, that really concerns me because I'm still a little concerned overall about his arm strength. Main thing right now, intermediate passing. Can you get that intermediate passing game going? So I say, again, C- minus on the quarterbacks. Uh, at this point, Ty Story, you know, I like the mobility. But here's a guy that I just think, you know, has had some issues holding on to the football. So mm -hmm. certain things that play there. Let's yeah. go to the receivers. Now. Okay. You know, this is an area, you know, I thought they'd be more productive yep. than they've been right now. LaMichael Petway, Jordan Jones had great starts, but then that's kind of died down on the stat sheet. Rakeem Boyd, by the way, number two receiver for Arkansas right now. And obviously he's a running back. I want to see more of Jared Cornelius. <laughs> I think he needs to be more of a factor because he know we can be a playmaker. And if I'm being honest, they have talked up freshman Michael Woods so much. Yeah. It's almost like they want him to be this big time guy. We just haven't seen it yet. Yeah. And so I don't know if that's a lot of just talk and wishful thinking from the coaches part. And we've seen flashes, but not a lot from Michael Woods either. Honestly, C minus for me for the wide receivers. Right there with you, C minus. Uh, my thing is running the routes. I don't think they've been very fluid. Uh, you're looking for two, three playmakers you can really go to as far as the rest of the games, the six games that are left this season. Mike Woods, that's a the guy they really want to make as a big time guy in this offense. But you know, some of these guys are getting lost in the shuffle. Jay Red in the slot. Mm -hmm. uh, is he going to be that third down and five guy, sure. third down and 10 guy? So a lot to improve on there. Tight ends now. You know, I like this group. I like how CJ O'Grady is kind of coming along now. We talked about this last week. They need him in the lineup. He gets some good points. Um, they get some point deductions from me because it took him a while to get his ducks in a row or get, you know, <laughs> turn the corner or off angle. angle or whatever. But I do like <laughs> Austin Cantrell. Always been a guy that's been steady at that position. Tight ends get a B for me. Okay, B minus for the tight ends. My thing is, Jeremy Patton was a guy that I thought at the outset would be the leading tight end for this group. But again, injuries, you, you take that with mm -hmm. a grain of salt. Sure. The guy has been out, obviously had surgery, so we'll see what happens the rest of the way. Again, I can't tell a really good blocker. I'd like to see him a little bit more as a receiver. We'll see. I don't know if CJ can just carry the load the rest of the way. The offensive yep. line now. You know, you know, I'm going to give them some props because Saturday they only allowed one sack against Alabama, so that was good to see. They've definitely been improving. I think Ty Clary, as we mentioned, trying to get over that stage fright, did better than he did against Texas A&M yesterday against Alabama. I like the move of for a holdover to left guard, but the run game isn't where it needs to be. Drew running out the middle isn't working. The running backs don't have a lot to work with there. Ty Story constant, is not constantly scrambling for his life, so that's good. Offensive line, though, gets a D for me. I just need them to get better, and it's bad in my opinion, how much this line has fallen since Sam Pittman left. Yeah, great point there. You know, I'm going to say D as well. Uh, this whole cross-training effort, you know, at this point, continuity, that's the biggest yeah. thing moving forward. We saw Austin Ketzel yesterday, but again, uh, some injuries there. Please, please, yell the frill hole, do not get hurt. That's yeah, one thing. All absolutely. Right. Running backs. Yeah, you know, I've, I've been dancing around this one because we've talked about Rakeem Boyd a little here and there, but I don't know how I feel about the run game. I have some mixed feelings about them. Um, I don't think it's terrible, but it's not great. I think Rakeem Boyd is going to be the star yeah. of this season at that position. When Devwa Whaley comes back, I think that'll be nice to have both of those guys out there. Chase Hayden has had moments this season, you know, but we know he has 
XP hasn't seen a lot of it consistently in this group, though collectively my favorite on the offensive side of the ball because they do have potential. I'm waiting to see it maximize. What I don't like is that Boyd leads the group right now, Drew, just 306 yards in six games. Devil Whaley has 240 in the four games that he's played on that track. I don't see guys rushing over 600, 700 yards this year. All right, I'm they get say, a B. Okay. That's my grade. B? They okay. get a B. I'm going to go B minus here for the running backs. We talk about it being a crowded backfield. The mm -hmm. point is, uh, where the heck is T.J. Hammonds? You know, hasn't yeah. been there much. Uh, he's supposed to be involved. Also, Chase Hayden, really no opportunities to really run off tackle. Mm -hmm. They're going very east-west right now, and the guy who can go east-west is Rakeem Boyd. Yeah. He's really the guy that can go virtually anywhere right now. He's that explosive. Great point there. You said one-two punch, possibly Devois Whaley, Rakeem Boyd moving forward. Boyd has been great as a newcomer yeah. for this Arkansas Absolutely. bunch. And Whaley, so now a junior, got to get him back from injury. So not, not too bad. No one gets an A on the offense, I don't think. But yeah. I think that overall, the best group on this team is that running back yeah. group. Wish we had Mike Irwin here with the uh, Professor Coat. Yeah. He's Professor Coat, number yeah. two pencil, dialing it up. Coming up, more report cards, talking about the D-line and special teams. More of the Pig Trail coming up. Stay with us.